let's talk about Alfie Devine and Bride Hill. Alfie, let's talk, start off with Alfie Devine as he was named England under 19 captain. So big up to Alfie Devine. And Brian Hill was named uh, Spanish under 21 captain. So we've yeah. got some uh, some leaders. leaders coming through the ranks, huh? Yeah, it's positive, very positive. And uh, we know Alfie Devine from a very young age. He um, even in his cameos in a Spurs show for the first team, he's definitely shown a lot of quality, hasn't he, for a very young player. Uh, I think he's got a massive, massive future. And Brian Hill, it's very rare you see players like Hill um, in, in, in uh, youth level being captain of their, like though that kind of player, flair player on the wing. But um, Luis Enrique mentioned this uh, when he said he called him up for Spain and he said he was very surprised and uh, impressed by the maturity of uh, Andy and his willingness to um, be loud in the dressing room and on the pitch mm. and stuff like that. Um, he was saying, I, I remember reading. So um, clearly he's not afraid to you know, be ordering players around and giving his opinion. And um, he's clearly respected if he's been named captain as well. And that's very, very positive uh, from that point of view. And also, I think I'm right, I'm saying in, in the England under-19 game um, against Germany a couple of days ago, Scarlett scored. Yeah. So that's also Scarlett very scored two and two over this international break. So there you go. Also scoring, doing good stuff there for uh, the England youth level. So the young players at Tottenham look to be thriving at the moment, which is very, very yeah, positive. They really and do. I'm, I'm liking the look of that. And um, yeah, the more I see of Hill, um, and the more the more I might get very, very excited from about it. But um, he's still very young. But I want to see. I want. I just want to see more of him. He just seems to have that X factor. But you know. I just want to see him in the Premier League and see what he can do in the Premier League. Um, yeah, I completely agree. And it's worth noting with Divine, like, we all want to see Divine a bit more, but he's so young, isn't 17, he? 17, 16. So young. We scored at 16, didn't he? Against yeah, Marine. Against Marine. Great so, goal as well. Um, yeah, it was a nice finish. So, I mean, I'm very excited about all, not just those two, but all these players coming through at Tottenham at the moment. There seem to be like a core group that are really uh, going places. And it, it makes me feel like that group that we had with like Harry Kane, Ryan Mason, uh, Andros Townsend, you know, all these kind of players all coming through at the same time. But these lots seem to be a level above, to be honest. Yeah, they do. And then and this, this seems like um, positive for the future. And in terms of um, when we're looking towards this project that we're trying to build under Nuno and have these fresh rebuilding the squad and all this kind of stuff. I'm hoping these players are going to be at the forefront in the, in a few years' time of coming to the first team. Maybe they, you know, when we always think about Spurs, they need to splash money on this player and that player. But hopefully, we can start actually using our youth properly and re, and um, re uh, and integrating them into the first team because that's the best model. That's like the perfect model. Um, that's all the best side. All the, like the really great sides have always done that, reintegrated their youth and, mm -hmm. and got the best out of their, their youth products. Into Spain's the zone. just a great example, isn't it? Yeah, the Barcelona, Barcelona side, Xavi, Iniesta, Messi, all youth players, that United side of 92, dominated by youth players into the side. That's like all, a lot of great sides have always done that. And, uh, Spurs and you know, even Chelsea now. And Chelsea now, exactly. They've got a lot of youth players in there as well. So And the Spurs side of, you know, I know we didn't win anything, but it was our most successful period in the Premier League. And that was dominated by youth as well. So um, that's like the best model, Spurs. And I think as well, the, the fact that we've invested in our training ground, all that kind of stuff, um, that's it, I think, with a vision of kind of in long term, getting the best out of, um, of the players that we're bringing through our academy. So I think this is hopefully a view to that. And um, it's very, very positive, And hopefully we can make the best use out of it. Yep. Yeah.